I've started growing and scaled multiple t-shirt and sweatshirt businesses to multiple five figures and six figures in a given year. And that is without holding my own inventory through a business model called Print On Demand and selling on a platform called Etsy. I've sold on plenty of platforms, surprisingly, to those who may be new to this channel or those who may have seen or heard about print on demand and Etsy, but may not really know how to start or what to do, how to design, how do you even go about creating a business like that? And how do you even scale it to multiple five and six figures? I have some simple answers that may not seem so simple at first, but we're going to dive deep into it. And I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to create a t-shirt design with me today and how to list on Etsy for the first time with print on demand and a company that I like to use called Printify. Now Printify is a print on demand company that utilizes and integrates with hundreds of different print providers, which are independent print companies that are integrating to Etsy to take on the demand that print on demand provides. So you can really sell anywhere with print on demand now. And one of my choices and one of the things I will be talking about in this video is how to sell on Etsy in specific. Now you may be sitting here right now, like why Etsy? see out of all of the places you can sell. And one of the reasons and main reasons I chose Etsy was because it has a built-in organic traffic source. So for me, going on social media and doing the whole, oh, I'm going to run ads when I don't have money to begin with, and the whole concept of getting my own traffic to my own website, such as Shopify or website, just didn't make sense for me and would never provide me enough motivation to even start. I didn't have enough money to figure out how to invest into ads. And for me, the risk tolerance I had was very low. And that's why I ultimately tried Etsy and Printify. The print on demand industry has a projection to grow to 39 billion by the year 2030. So if you're not already in print on demand, there is a lot of growth in this industry and starting now or around this time that you're watching this video is actually probably the best time you could possibly start. So without further ado, what is print on demand? Print on demand is a process where you are the designer, you are the customer service, you are the product creator. When you create a product and design for a product, with a print on demand company such as Printify. That company, when you get a sale on, let's say a platform like Etsy, you get an order that comes through, that order will integrate to Printify. Printify will print, pack, and ship that order out to your customer. Now, you are charged during this process and you do not see money usually coming into your Etsy shop. Sometimes it can take a week to a few weeks Etsy has been known to have a payment reserve system, so they will actually not give you the funds back until that item is shipped to your customer. So that's something to note is you don't get the money back right away. You may not see profit right away. Those are myths that I just wanna debunk at the beginning of this video. You usually start at a negative. That's what I've started at, and that's what a lot of my clients and subscribers and followers have started at as well. And that is a mindset to have going into this business, right? Long-term sustainable businesses usually start at a loss until you start to see that profit rolling in, and then you're going to be so happy that you stuck with it in the long term. That's at least what I found in my time. And for me, when I started, I remember even purchasing a digital mock-up for a t-shirt was as much as my coffee or like half of a Chipotle bowl. And I'm a huge Chipotle fan, by the way, I say it so much on this channel, but like, oh my gosh, talking about it makes me want it for lunch today. So anyways, <laughs> this is the thought process I had when I started was, okay, if I could maybe sacrifice buying a coffee and putting that $5 into my business every day, what could that entail in a few years. Little did I know that taking away $5 every day from maybe getting Starbucks and just making coffee at home instead, that would lead me to hundreds of thousands of dollars later on. And 
sitting here now, I don't regret those choices and that daily sacrifice. I hope that puts that into perspective on the investment that you can expect in this business. And if that is still too high of a risk for those of you watching, then I would recommend maybe looking into creating digital products or something else that may have a lower risk tolerance. However, it is more saturated and sometimes it's harder to get into than just print on demand. So it's just whatever you're passionate in and that you find passion in, just try to stick with it for three to six months and give yourself some time to try it, right? So now that we have established the startup fees for print on demand and what exactly the print on demand business model is, I wanted to go over a quick tutorial on how to create a t-shirt design, how to put it on a print on demand product such as a t-shirt in Printify and how I would go about just publishing that easily to my Etsy shop. And if you haven't seen already on my channel, I do have so many tutorials on different products you can create that I highly recommend watching after this if you want to create for other products that aren't t-shirts. Now, here's just me getting on my pedestal for a moment about t-shirts, but in my opinion, t-shirts are a great product to sell, but you will notice that t-shirts and selling this product type does have a lot of competition. Does it mean that you can't get sales in this year, that is a total incorrect belief system because you still can get a lot of sales with a t-shirt at seeing print on demand business or just t-shirt business in total. However, I will say that the competition is and tends to be higher with t-shirts. And what I would recommend is maybe looking into adjacent product types, such as maybe tank tops, maybe sweatshirts. And in fact, one of my first five figure product and also six figure product in my Etsy business was a Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt. So a lot of what I'm teaching on how to design in this video and how to create a product type, you can take and transfer to other product types. So I would recommend that as you go forward. So so besides that, we're going to get out my laptop and get to work here. So now we're at the fun part of this video, which is creating our first designs and products together. So as I was saying earlier, as a print on demand business owner, you are the product creator. You are the designer of your own shop and business. So here's where it's really fun with Printify is Printify has hundreds to thousands of variations of colors and products to select from. Now, one of my go-to staple t-shirts is the Bell and Canvas 3001. This is actually one of the first products I ever sold with my print on demand business. And I would highly recommend this as a product to start with. However, there are some honorable mention products that I have sold as well in my business. One of those being the Comfort Colors C1717, which is almost a polar opposite to the feel of a Bell and Canvas 3001. So Bell and Canvas 3001 is a buttery soft garment feel. Comfort Colors is more of a vintage, a little bit rougher of a product, but it's still soft. It's it's one of those products that it it's just a maybe heavier weight material. I guess that's the best way to describe it. And a lot of people seek out Comfort Colors for the different colors that Comfort Colors offers. So to go over the colors, they have so many beautiful shades. One of them that is a past winning shade has been the color pepper from comfort colors. So pepper is a very, it's like a dark gray color and it has a double stitching in the collar that again, just gives it that very, very vintage vibe and feel. That's the best way to describe it. Now with Bell and Canvas 3001, Bell and Canvas 3001 is a really great option as well. Again, this is a buttery soft feel and I do have a whole product catalog talk through guide that I'm going to link below. It's the best Printify products to sell. I really recommend watching that because I go over more about t-shirts in that video. Today, we're just briefly kind of going over some staples that I've seen in the print on demand industry that's been selling for a while now. For this video, what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to do the Bell and Canvas 3001 because again, it's a staple. Um, there is different options that you can choose from. Now there's Printify Choice, which is something I would recommend for any beginner with Etsy and Print On Demand. What, what Printify Choice does is it bases the print provider on where the customer is located. So in the case that maybe you have Canadian customers and you live in the US, Printify Choice will usually select a print provider based in Canada to print pack and ship the item to your customer that lowers the amount of costs and gets you the lowest production fee and shipping fees as a print on demand business owner. So there's a lot of perks of Printify Choice in that regard. Personally, I'm very hands-on. I'm very manual with everything that I do. And since I've been selling with Print On Demand and Printify in specific for the longest time, I know one of my top choice print providers has always been Swift POD. A lot of people really do love Monster Digital too, though. Diamond AT is really good. Underground Threads is really good. Most of the print providers, I would say all of them, to be quite honest, are so good with Printify. They have consistent production times. They have consistent quality overall. What I'm going to use for this video is I'm just going to use Monster Digital. They have, look at this, under one day production time. That is crazy fast. That's like almost Amazon level, that is Amazon level production time. So that's what's really neat about using Monster Digital. Also, they allow bulk discounts. So if you have orders, I believe it's over 60 to 100 maybe orders or items per order, you can be eligible for a bulk discount. So if you are selling bulk t-shirts, this is a company to use. Also, they offer neck labels, gift messaging, and branded inserts, which is a huge perk of using Monster Digital over, let's say, using Printify Choice. With Printify Choice, you won't be able to do the branded inserts, gift messaging. So that's something to note as well is if you want to focus on just one print provider, you can kind of stick in Monster Digital or maybe a print provider like Swift POD. Swift POD also offers all of the same that Monster Digital does. Their production time is a little bit slower though, but it's still really great production times. 1.5 days is incredible. So with Monster Digital, I'm going to click on start designing. And what's nice about Printify is you actually don't need a design software. You can design all within Printify. Printify actually has over 300 fonts. They have graphics you can use that are all print on demand use friendly. Now, this is a point of the video where I'm going to talk in depth real quick about print on demand graphics and fonts that you can use and what licensing you should use as a print on demand business owner. So the way I want to introduce this is first of all, just talking about that not every font and graphic on the internet you can use for commercial use. There is actually a lot of fonts and graphics that are only for personal use. Personal use means that you can only maybe purchase this t-shirt that I'm creating right now for yourself. What I am going to talk about on this channel is one of the design softwares I personally use because they are print on demand friendly. That company that you'll already see tabbed on my screen is Kittle. So I wanted to go over their pricing and just over their licenses they offer. So you'll see here that for print on demand, there is only so so many licenses that you can get and different companies and different softwares have different licensing. So an example is with Kittle, if you use Kittle, you get access to a commercial license, but you do have to require attribution to Kittle if you use them for free. So that's simply by putting in every listing that you have designs made by Kittle or with Kittle software. Now, if you had the pro or expert level full commercial use license, that means that you're paying for that commercial use license and you're able to resell and use your designs for print on demand usage unlimited amounts. So another example that I like to give is Creative Fabrica. All fonts on Creative Fabrica are print on demand usage allowed. So this is for commercial usage, which means that we can use that for print on demand. However, there are graphics on Creative Fabrica that are not print on demand friendly. And 
usage allowed. So this is the difference on a lot of sites is certain sites do not allow certain fonts and graphics for print on demand usage that you do need to be aware of. One example I can give is if you use, if you look up certain maybe 3D SVGs, for example, if we click into this, we are going to see that this license, so it says this is for free and it has personal and commercial use, but if you want a POD license, if it doesn't say print on demand usage license, that means it's not for print on demand. So that's one thing that a lot of people don't know that if it says free and commercial, that doesn't mean it still is allowed for print on demand. If you want a print on demand license for this laser cut bundle, you would have to buy for 260 on this Creative Fabrica listing. However, if you do have their membership, which they usually have an all access membership that may be allowed for that membership. So that's just something to note is that not everything is print on demand usage friendly. So if I go on Creative Fabrica and I scroll down their graphics that they have, maybe this Hello Summer Sublimation Bundle, you'll see here that we can actually use this for print on demand by purchasing a license or if we have the all access membership. So I'm gonna log in real quick and just show that this is free with my all access. So I'm just going to show that here. It's so weird, there's like gardeners right outside my window right now and I'm just like talking. <laughs> so now that I'm logged into my account, if we see there is no cost for the print on demand usage. So as you can see, commercial and full POD usage is allowed. So if you have the Creative Fabrica all access membership, you do get a lot of these for free. Most platforms that you sell on, this does not mean that you can use these designs and graphics as is though. So an example is on Etsy, you do have to alter and have a lot of edits to some of these graphics to use them and sell them. You cannot sell graphics as is. So just to make that clear, you cannot use these graphics and sell as is. You would have to use an element of the graphic and then add in more elements of your own when you design. So for this example, I'm just gonna take this, I'm going to download this and give you an example of how that would look like. So there's no mass confusion when I'm talking about that. So I'm gonna go over to my um, Kittle account here and we're going to create a design together and we're gonna put it on one of our t-shirts that we're going to create in this video. So first of all, I am going to download that sublimation bundle and unzip it. And then I am going to find a graphic that I want to use and we will go from there. So now that we're back on Printify, I did want to make sure we're using the correct print area size. So for Monster Digital, the print area size is 4,500 by 5,100. So I'm going to go to Kittle, I'm going to click new project, and then I'm going to type in that exact dimension. So I'm going to do 4,500 by 5,100. We do want it at three, 100 DPI when we export, but when we're creating our canvas, we actually don't want it at 300 because it's going to be a really huge artboard. So I'm just gonna keep it at 72 DPI. And even when you upload it on Printify, it's pretty much pretty good. Um, the sizing that Printify will have and it, we will be able to see what the DPI is when we upload it to Printify. So what's kind of confusing is that Kittle may say 72 DPI, but when you upload it to Printify, it is 300 DPI because we are matching the pixel of, let's say if I downloaded this, we're mac matching the 4,500 five by 5,100 to the, the current resolution that Printify is suggesting to us. So I know this is kind of confusing, but bear with me here. Um, as we're creating our design together today, I'm going to take over and drag and drop some of the elements that I had. Now, earlier, what I was saying about that, you can't just upload a design as is. So I cannot take any of these designs and upload them as is if we were to do that on our Etsy shops, because that is against Etsy's policies. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to crop it. I'm going to crop out the words and I'm just going to have the glasses for now. I will show you the 
method to my madness in a moment here. But since when I am filming this, it is around the summertime. What I really want to do is something with maybe like back to school because teachers will be going back to school or maybe teachers, there's like a gnat and I'm trying to like grab it in the air and it's, I don't know where it went, but so <laughs> this, this, uh, design, I'm not really a fan of, I really don't have an idea for that. So I'm just going to use the glasses as our main example. Also, I did not crop this as well because there's still the bottom of that. So I'm going to keep these glasses because I think these are super cute. And what I'm thinking of with these glasses is maybe to make a design for teachers who are off of school right now, because I know there's a lot of teachers. I have plenty of friends who are teachers or even past teachers who do print on demand now who have quit their nine to fives, which is kind of cool. Um, but it, my mom's best friend is actually a teacher too. And I know that when, oh my gosh, I'm still trying to catch that gnat. Um, I know that when he's out of school for teaching, he just wants people to know like off duty teacher, you know? So I think that'd be kind of funny for a teacher t-shirt for the summertime or even a tank top, right? We can use this in different product types. So I'm going to put off duty, maybe science teacher or maybe we could just we could just keep it pretty pretty laid back we'll just do teacher and oh my gosh my spelling is so bad I am so sorry for whoever watches this whole video through because I am probably super annoying um so I'm gonna center all of these and then what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna select both of these I'm going to make this into a fun font I think doing like the sunny drop that's one of my favorite fonts this is just such a trendy font right now too I just want to say that like I think that I'm seeing it all over because it's just such a fun font so what I want to do here is what's really fun about Kittle is we can stretch and distort our text so I'm going to distort it around the glasses a little bit just to make it a little bit more fun and kind of give some shape to our text that's a little bit different. So I'm just going to shape it again a little bit to the glasses. So I'm going to stretch it down a little bit. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit here. I'm gonna edit the transform. Um, okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this. What I'm not happy about is the colors. I, I really love matching my colors. So what we're gonna do here is I want to, first of all, I'm gonna make an effect and we're going to add in a little bit of outline here to make it even more like groovy feeling. So I'm also going to, we're gonna angle it that way. And for the color, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this like brown shade. I think that would be really fun. And I'm going to match the settings I have here. So I have offset of six, angle, maybe I'll do like an angle of 90 to make it more cohesive. Um, we'll make it 30 for that outline. So 693, 693, 693. Okay. 690. Here we go. I am happy with that. So I'm going to move this up since we did stretch it a little bit too close for comfort there. And then I'm going to match the colors here. So what I'm going to do for the text color is I am going to match it with one of the lighter shades we have in the glasses. I think that would be really fun to just kind of match some of these. So the other thing, I'm not entirely happy with this color. So instead, I'm going to look at my color palette. Um, and what I kind of want to do, I might just factorize this image because I feel like I do want to play with the colors. I'm not completely happy with the colors we have. So let's just vectorize the image. I should have probably started with this, but now the more I look at it, I'm kind of like, I'm feeling it more. This is such a beautiful color palette. Okay, 
Now we have some colors to work with. This is so beautiful. Okay. I'm getting so many ideas now. Okay. Let's, let's do that. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. I love these colors. This is gold. This is, I love these colors so much. Okay. I have to stop playing around now. So I think I'm going to do, maybe I'll do the darker shade and we'll just keep it with off duty teacher. I'm going to make this just slightly bigger. I feel like it just needs to be a little bit bigger for my liking. And if I want to get really crazy, I'm feeling like get a little bit crazier guys. So we're going to do maybe like the sunset that it already has because the glasses already have that. So it's kind of like might as well kind of go with the vibe. I like the blue, but I think that I'm pretty happy with. So it kind of seems a little bit too much, but I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. So I love this so much. Oh my gosh. So I'm done now with this design. So what I'm going to do is I will download this. So I'm going to put my off duty teacher. I did, someone did comment to me in the comment section to always put this as 300 DPI. That's fine. But if I download at 300 DPI, it's going to be a huge file. So I'm actually going to download it at where we are because it's already 3.4 megabytes, which is quite a bit. Um, and if we don't have that much storage, it that adds up really quick. Um, I would know speaking from experience. So now I'm pretty happy with my design. Looking at the design, I almost want to do like more, but I'm going to, I'm going to stop. I feel like doing too many crazy things is not good. It's not good for me. The next question a lot of people have is how big should you make the design? Monster Digital has a huge area that you can print on. If you did the whole area, it does print very large. Um, personally, for me, I like to just kind of keep it so there's a letter or like a L, like a just a lowercase L between the sides of the box. I Like if you envision a lowercase L just in between the sides that's essentially how I like to place my designs. When you're creating a listing on Printify, you get a huge selection of colors. So as we can see, if we scroll down, we can select from so many different colors that Printify and Monster Digital has to offer. So natural is a pretty popular color lately. So I'm going to put in a, a natural here in my color selection. And I think it just goes really well with the off duty teacher design. I think it's like a super cute design that it would work well with. You also have to factor in your design colors. So for me, since we have a lot of blues in this, I would do maybe a Heather ice blue just to add in maybe more of like another vintage shade for this design as well. I would do a dark gray Heather. I really like the dark gray Heather and it does work pretty decently for this design. The border effect is not going to print or it's not really going to show, but the design and text itself looks pretty beautiful to me without that. So I would be comfortable offering that. Now I have seen a lot of people that I've reviewed their shops and they're using a dark design. So like black, let's say the lettering is black off duty and teachers in black, like completely in black. I would not suggest offering that color or what you can do. So if I go back here in selecting this dark gray, Heather, I can click make a specific design and you can create a white version and put that on. So that's what you would have to do. So if I went back to Kittle and maybe I select it all and I changed this all to white. I downloaded, I re-uploaded into this area where I've make a specific design. If I delete this, you'll notice if I click into the other ones, they're still the same because I clicked make that specific design. So that's just something you can do. In this case, we won't need to do that, but if you would like to in the future, highly recommend. So next, what I'm gonna do to create this product is I'm going to select my mock-up images. So it's up to you what mock-up images that you would like. There's so many different selections you can do now. What I personally like is I like adding the size chart at the end. This is a really cool and new feature of Printify is they have the size chart at the end, which I really, really love. Um, 
for this design, I'm just seeing how it looks hanging. I'm not really the biggest fan of that one necessarily. Um, I think the folded up one looks kind of nice though. I will say I do like the folded up one, but I am going to end up making my own mock-up. So I'm kind of just in between on which one I want. Um, I'm just going to deselect a few of these and we'll just keep it with just that hanging one for now because I'm not really feeling it. Um, so I do have a different video on how to list with Printify. I would recommend watching that because this is all going to be easy for you to fill out with me in that video. But I'm just going to go quickly through this and I'm going to link that other video in the description below and hopefully I'll have it hovering above the screen. So I'm going to put off duty teacher. And then I'm going to keep that there. So for this, I'm going to hide and store. We are going to publish with everything in it. And then what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I want to go back because I did not want to remove that. So I'm going to go to my mockups on Kittle. This is a really neat feature of Kittle. And one of, one of the reasons why I really like to show it in these videos is because we can do a mock-up image with just the off-duty teacher, which I really, really love. And it's really easy to do in Kittle. Um, I think I'm going to do like this one maybe, and then I'll probably crop out. So this is something I do as well. I do crop out like the faces. And I, I know, just bear with me for a moment on that. Um, I like cropping out faces when I do these types of t-shirts. I don't know why, but like if I crop out the face for some reason, I've just noticed like the mock-up image on Etsy does better. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but I'm going to download this mock-up and then we're going to go to my Etsy shop and I'm going to go over. We're going to go to our listings. And then I'm going to go to my drafts since I have this hidden and I hid it in my store prior to publishing. So we have our size charts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in that t-shirt and then what I will do as well is I'm going to crop it. So we're gonna crop it and then we're going to adjust our thumbnail image. So. I like to have the shoulders in view for my mock-up images. Um, and I like to have it zoomed in enough that we have still the shoulders in our view as I zoom in closer and we still have our design pretty much in display here. And that's pretty much it for how I would publish this listing to Etsy and how I would create this design. After this video, I do recommend watching my other videos I have linked down below. I have one talking about the best Printify products I would recommend in this year and the next few years to design for and create in your own print on demand businesses. I also recommend watching the best way to list on Etsy as well, because that's going to give you insight on how to go through the process of creating a listing for Etsy. Besides that, I hope this video helped those of you who are looking to start in print on demand and Etsy. And let us know if you have any questions by commenting down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video for more videos just like this. I'll see you guys in the next video here.